Well, I'd like to thank you both for sitting down here today and agreeing to uh, try to figure out exactly what's going on with your situation and figure out a way that we can make things work for everybody involved. My name is Mark. I'm going to be one of the mediators today. This is my co-mediator, Alan. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to sit down we're going to give each of you a chance to talk about exactly what's going on and what you see to be the key issue. And we're also going to sit and offer some ideas that might be able to help you. But I'd like to say again, the first step that you guys took of agreeing to sit down here today and talk is really, really key. Um, a couple things I want you to keep in mind is I know that you're both a little upset, um, but we're going to try to talk in a uh, polite and civil manner to each other. And we both want to agree that if things get a little bit too heated, it's okay to take a time out. With that being said, um, Jenny, why don't you start us off and tell us a little bit about what you feel has been going on. Well, I feel that, that, you know, I got three kids. I got three kids, they three little kids, and I feel that, you know, I'm on welfare, okay, I am, so what? And see, I, I got my hood on, got a bad hair day. I can't do my own hair. I ain't got no money to do nothing for myself for my kids. And I was just asking this man just to sign this piece of paper so the welfare department can cut me a check so I can keep a roof over my baby's head. So what I'm hearing you say, and, what I'm hearing you say is that uh, you're living in his building and you're struggling a little bit and you're looking for a little bit of assistance. Is yes, that correct? Yes, sir. Is there anything else that you, you see is going on right now? Well, yeah, well, I mean, we can get deeper with it because he can't tell me, he can't tell me who to, who to have in my, my place. How can he tell me that when I walk in and have my place? He can't do that. And that's my, this is my, my, my husband, my kids, my kids, uh, um, dad. And he trying okay. to say he got a problem with him being in the place. I ain't even been there two weeks. That's it. Okay. Three weeks I've been in there. Okay. And so what, what I'm hearing you say is that. There's been a little bit of difficulties with who's allowed to stay in the apartment and who isn't. So and that ain't right. right. I don't care what he, hey, he from, wherever okay. he from, okay. England or something, he ain't from America. He can't, he don't know, hey, the, 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 rules might, the rules might work over there, hey, but the rules don't work over hey, here. Jenny, Jenny. You know, it, it, Jenny, we in, the, in America right here, in USA. Take, you're right, we're gonna take a time So out whatever rules they got, I don't care. We're gonna take a time out for a second. All I right. appreciate you letting hey, me know exactly how you feel. Take a breath. We're going to talk to your landlord here and figure out what he's saying, and then we'll keep moving on. But I appreciate you being so heartfelt. Sir, how do you see the situation? Uh, well, um, Mark, uh, as you see here, the problem is loud. When, Biggest problem when, here. When you say loud, um, you mean her talking is too voluminous? Very much so. I have many complaints about her as far as her noise volume, that's one problem. Um, she, first of all, she's been there five weeks and she has not paid me the last three weeks. Oh, you're lying. Five weeks she, she's been in my place. Jenny, Jenny. He can't even speak hey, English. Hey, Jenny. 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 It's his turn to talk right now. It's his turn. You had your turn, give the man his turn. Thank you. You know, I have, I have, I have full-time job as well as a renting place. I get no respect as it is. Her husband, she brought up her husband. She, her husband, and her uh, attacked me when I had asked her one night when to. You, when you say you don't feel that you get respect, what does that mean? I, 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 I have this place. I have full time job. I'm trying to run a very nice area for people to live, and while I would like hire level customers. Hold on, my husband ain't attacked him. If my husband would attack him, my hey. husband would have whooped his ass. Hey Jenny. Jenny. My husband would have whooped his ass. Jenny. I'm so so how? You. I'm gonna have to ask you to give I, the man I, his turn and then we'll go back to that. But you need to please give the man his turn. You had your turn, oh, it's the man's God. turn. Oh, Sir when you say a, a nice or higher level uh, facility, what does that mean? Listen, I come here to this country and I make my living 
I, I am an immigrant from Greece. I make my living. I don't necessarily agree with people that are on welfare. Okay, so let's take a stop right here. Oh, let's take a stop. See? Let's take a stop right here. See? Thank you. I appreciate it. I understand that both of you are really, really worked up about this, and both of you are charged, but we need to remain calm in order to get somewhere. So what I'm hearing so far, and Alan, correct me if I'm wrong, or please jump in, but what I'm hearing is, is Jenny feels like she has a situation where she has a, an apartment with her three children and yes. with her husband. That's fine. And she feels that she's not being treated um, in an equitable fashion by her landlord. And her landlord feels that Jenny, with her three children and with her husband, are less than perfect tenants. Is that what I'm hearing? No, you did. You did not let me get to my biggest problem. When I go over there to, I had a noise complaint one night at about 10.30 at night, and I went over there to ask her to lower the volume. Her and her husband were very abusive at me. She kicked me in the knee, they threatened me, and then I, I, I asked for rent and they tell me no. While, while they might be on welfare, that, while I, I have my personal problems with that. I do not put that on her. I still would like to have her as a tenant because I'm not going to tell people, no, you can't live here if they need a place to live. So you would like her as a tenant? Yes, I would. I would like her. I, need, I still need business. Okay. I have a question. Is there a, uh, is there a signed contract between you and Jenny here? It was, it was a spoken agreement. That's right. Okay. It's, oral, it's called oral over here in America. Okay. Oh, okay. God kicked him because he going to kick me out. So I kicked him. It's so like we going back on do some kicking. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing the kicking. Jenny, uh, I have a question for you, Gus. Um, rewinding back to your first statement, uh, you had mentioned that you feel uh, a little bit of lack of respect. Um, perhaps here or with your other job, uh, could you go into that? What what makes you feel disrespected? Well, first of all, like I said, I'm an immigrant. Pe people from this country don't really like us as it is. So I'm, I, 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 I do my best to work hard. I have, I'm have i a full-time printer, and then I, I have this place where I, I, I give people places to live. I don't think that they like that an immigrant runs the place that they live. Okay. And I mean, I try and work with her. She, she was fine the first two weeks, and then all of a sudden, I, I don't get payment the next three weeks. And then when I go there and talk to her, it's just, yell, yell, yell. So let time. me ask, what changed after the first two weeks, Jenny, that the rent didn't show up? Because I had to get him signing statements. A, a statement, and I believe it says a DSS statement. Does that sound correct? Yes. Sir, do you know anything about the DSS statement? I, I do, but my, my problem is I, she's, she's loud all the time. But your problem also is you're not collecting rent, is that correct? And you said that you would like to have, keep her as a tenant? I would like to, but I want attitude to change. I want, the, okay. I want there to be respect between both of us. And, and I Violence is not respect. I understand. So if you were to be treated with respect, what would that look like to you? When, when we ask for the noise to be lowered, the noise should be lowered. I, I, the problem with husband it, it can be solved. I mean, the, it's just... Anger over the, the incident, but it's just the matter of when I have to come there almost every single night. I live a block away, so it's not much of a problem. But when I have to continue to come and she continue to be loud, it's it's a, it's the the respect is not there. Is in the I am the authority figure in the building. I own the building, and if the other tenants have problems with the noise, she should be able to respect that. So, what kind of noise are the complaints that you're hearing from? Hey, I, I got three kids. So the kids gonna be kids. Hey, you got kids? No, it's they not them kids. kids. I got three little kids. So yeah, they're gonna be loud. I ain't blasting my music all night throughout the hours. Okay, me and my husband, we fight a lot because he uh, that's a whole nother problem with us. But I, I can handle that though. I, I do understand what he's saying. Because we do have we having some spatting going on because we ain't seeing eye to eye right now. 